everybody. Just got back. Uh, this is the day that I got back. Hi, everybody. How's the day go? I'm doing a little feeding video. These are the Sagittarius, the Black Devils. I got the Red Jewels in there. I got the True Pride in there. I don't know if she gonna come out making an appearance or what. Trying to get her out. And I got the Monte Carlo, Monte Cristo Sickness in here also. We go all around so we can see them. That's the Monte Cristo Sickness down there, the smaller one. Big Mama in there, the big True Pride. And the black devil you can see with the bars almost look like right. well, that bars fade and it gets up. Alright, so that's that one. Three jewel cigarettes left. I had about eight. Okay, now we're gonna do the black nasties. And these are my group of black nasties I have. And we feed them, and they are super hungry because they haven't eaten, eaten in three, four days. And it's all right to fast your fish. They're not going to die if you don't feed them every day. I do it all the time. Normally on a regular week, I will fast my fish, the whole fish room, except the fry, on Sundays. And Sunday's just a day I pick so I can rest. <laughs> So it ain't no significance to Sunday any day. You can fast your fish once a week. It ain't gonna kill them. Now, I'm gonna tell you, they're not gonna grow as fast as you want them if you don't power feed them. I mean, versus the power feed them. This is a group of Cubans. The mother and father's still in here with the kids. Two of the kids then uh, had fry over there, which I didn't bother to pull. So what I'm gonna try to do is get another line of Cuban or another bloodline and uh, start all over. It's the parents in here and uh, the siblings, all these are siblings. And a lot of them are in breeding dress, so I'm not even tripping on pulling the fry. But I have sold about eight of these so far, this week, matter of fact. And they are gorgeous. All right, these are my orange soda sevens. I got a few greens in here. I just planted all them crips in there. I had got a while back and I just threw them in a tank. And finally got around to planting them. Okay. And uh, it's, uh, that's the female right there. And the male should be back there somewhere, I think. But these are the sevens. And this one, I don't know if they're gonna come out. These are the Crypto Hero Chillamensis. If I be patient, if y'all wanna be patient, we can come back to these though. This is my green group of green dragon plecos. Also got a couple mixed in here. Uh, got some reds. And they got babies everywhere. Again, I got some on the glass right there. I got a big male, uh, green dragon. Another one. Uh, one of them on, on eggs. I seen them fanning. Anyway, I got just some muck guppies in here just for the view. And they doing pretty good. This is Junior. That's my peacock bass, JR. And uh, he's come from the Florida. My buddy brought him up to me. Moving right along, right along. Echo, turn the cave on. Okay. And these are my wild pork snooks. Right here. And they're babies, which should be coming out soon. Get ready to catch all these out because they are ready to spawn again. I really like these fish. These are the green snooks. Up here we got some imbunas. I got stripped some babies. I had some imbunas and I got three red dovi in there with them. I also got some plecos in there, some babies. 
down here we got the Rashadi tank. Lake Tanganyika. And there's a lot in here. I took most of the deco out so I could get a more visual of uh, what I had in here. And there was other stone here. Got some babies in there. So I really had this success with these. Move right along. We got the. These are the Marshall E. Festivals, the Shell Dwellers. Little blue eyes. And there's a bunch in here too. They've been bred a couple times. But by me moving around, they're a little skittish. And this next tank, I've got a bunch of plants. And I got a flower horn. That's a call of my female right there. And that is a powder blue pearl females, both at the top, both of them are females, and the fry. And here go my big dog and his female under there, and there's a couple juvies in here also, but I just fed these. And this when I come back to, these are my jags beautiful pair of luggies. And if we can look closely, they had this pot loaded. It's about, I would speculate about a thousand wiggles back there or better. These are some heavy spawners in it anyway, but it is a lot of wigglers. Sorry about the blend though. It's like two layers. And that's a 10 inch pot. Anyway, down here I got my uh, River Lattice, only songs, female still in the cave, so can't see whether she is doing anything or on anything, but she don't come out much, so. Over here we got the Red Tiger Motor Glitches. And we got the uh, SRD Flower Horn in the two parts. my female red tiger motor western right there and the male over there wedged in that rock like a little pulp <laughs> anyway uh, this is a tank full of dover I also have my uh, feeders in here for JR and I got the parents to them too there and there I got the real mad umbies in here I got a female hoga boomerang back there, green dress, she probably laid eggs. And a male hoga boomerang is in a quarantine tank because he got beat up. These are some Melanoris fry. These are the Jaguar, Jaguar fry, and the Red Devil fry. Bard Red Devils. Up here is the 150 and I got a slew of African, I mean, <laughs> fish in here. I got some Jack Dempsey's, I got a Hope Low Catfish. I got Red Devils. I got a Trimac. Most of these are females. I got a couple males in there. Uh, Dovi, another Dovi. Uh, that one of Melanoris back there. And the, these are his siblings. His female is deceased. Um, I got a few more. I got some convicts in there, some platinum convicts, regular convicts. Alright. And a few other things that I can't see right now. And this is the 135 with a slew of silver dollars all kinds. Also got a flag tail in there. That thing is going like crazy. I got a male trimac in there right there. Got some convicts in there. 
I got my Bicha right there. Got some Geophagus Brazilianses right there. One there. There's a couple more here. I got two right there. That's a pair. Them two had bread in the past for me. And there's another one in here somewhere. Over there in the corner is a Cara. They hide so well in here. Alright. Down here we got a female flower horn. Right there. And in this tank we got a male. Black Nasty. I'm getting ready to add a female to this tank and see what I can do. Wish me luck, y'all. And last but not least, we got the front tosis. Two females and a male. Then I got the Geophagus Salvini in here with them. And another one. And another two more. Uh, where you at? Come down, come down, right there. And I got a couple jags in here. I think I might have a baby frontosa also. A couple jags that got away from my man JR. I'm trying to get y'all a good look at the multifasciatus. All of breeding pairs are out now. There's like three or four breeding pairs in here. And it's a bunch of fry. That's a male and female right there. Another male or female over there. And this is a male, the female probably in that large. I don't know where she got. Anyway, I appreciate y'all dropping by. Let me say hi and show off my tanks. Like I said, I just got back from a long weekend. And I got a female in there. Let's see if we can see the crypto hero chillimensis. They they swimming out. Let's see if I can get a good. And they got blue eyes. I love this species. Sorry about the dirty tank, y'all. This is literally the first time I seen my fish from this morning. It's a nice little colony in here too. That got a. Uh, a dominant male behind there. He's a nice size. Alright, y'all. Thank you. Appreciate y'all stopping by. We're going to see more Bashardi, too. It's funny, because if I had some company down here and I'd be showing the fish, all the fish we got on, and, you know, I come down here and everybody come up. It's breeding season, y'all. Time for me to amp it up. I got some new things coming in the fish room. And I got a surprise. So stay tuned. Peace.